Continuing coverage tonight, Assemblyman Joaquin Arambula now facing a criminal child cruelty charge. The DA's office filing the misdemeanor earlier today. Tonight, our legal analyst weighing in. Our Megan Roof joining us live now from the Fresno County Courthouse. And Megan, Arambula firing back at the DA's office saying the charge against him is politically motivated. Steph, Alex on, that's right, but attorneys we talked to tonight, they say that's doubtful. In fact, they say if this complaint was politically motivated, it may have come out as a felony, not a misdemeanor. State Assemblyman and Dr. Joaquin Rambula passionately defending himself in December of 2018 after he was arrested at his seven-year-old daughter's school. I had a daughter who was acting out and I disciplined her. I'm embarrassed to say it's not something we routinely do, but I did spank her on her bottom. Tuesday facing a misdemeanor criminal charge of cruelty to a child accused of willfully inflicting on a child, quote, in part, unjustifiable physical pain or mental suffering. They swat him on the butt and, you know, send him to bed or something like that. It's, it's got to be something more than that, but not significant enough to merit a felony case. Fresno attorney David Mugridge telling us Arambula could face trouble in the political realm or his private practice, but jail time is doubtful. Also saying he'll probably keep his medical license and his kids. The Medical Board of California looking into the allegations. Anytime you have an abuse against a child, it is significant. But if we put it in, in light and compare it to everything else, uh, it isn't a huge case. As for Rambulus claims the complaint is politically motivated, the DA's office saying that's 100 percent not correct and filing decisions are based on the law and evidence collected during the investigation. The farthest thought from my mind is that this is a political uh, act on the part of the district attorney. That's not the district attorney that I know. Mugridge says Arambula could enter a negotiated plea. He also says Arambula may have to take some child abuse restorative courses if convicted. Now Arambula is expected in court tomorrow morning. Reporting live in downtown Fresno, Megan Roop, KC24 Local News That Matters. Megan, thank you.